Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Figure Wednesday. Today I'll be reviewing the Target, I believe exclusive, Reckon Slammobile with an exclusive Braun Strowman basic figure. It's a pretty unique WWE item, but it does go along with when uh, Braun was really crazy. If you remember that backstage when he was destroying things, so they gave him a sports car, which I think Brock Lesnar was originally supposed to come with this, but they later changed it to Braun. As uh, if you remember Lesnar as well, destroying that car on Raw forever ago. Um, but it is a pretty cool item. It uh, breaks into 10 pieces, as you can see. And I got mine at Target, as I said. It's about $30. I'm not sure if any other retailer will be carrying it. So if you're looking for it, be sure to check your local Targets as uh, it is a brand new item for 2019 and most stores are already putting it out on the shelves. Uh, but anyway, the packaging is really nice. I couldn't believe how big this item was uh, when they removed it from the shipping box at Target for me. It's things huge, but it's to scale with elites and basics, which is really great. I've always wanted a car for like backstage parking lot brawls and whatnot. Excuse me. Um, so I'm very excited to have this. The detailing is really nice. It's pretty cool that it breaks into so many pieces and whatnot. On the side you can see a picture of Braun flipping it. The windshield and uh, hood and whatnot all cave in and break off. The steering wheel clearly is on the floor. And this side is similar. It's just Braun with the car in good condition so to speak. On the back it shows you it with a bunch of different basics and uh, showing you could put um, some accessories and stuff too in it. But I have seen people using elites with it as well even though basics are just shown. So it is to scale with all of them which is really cool. So that being said let's take a look at it fresh out of the packaging. Alright guys so here we have the Reckon Slam Mobile fresh out of the packaging. Overall I'd say it's pretty cool. It's like I said it's very unique. Uh, WWE item, you know, it's kind of a little kiddish in that it's not something you'd typically expect in the toy line, but it is pretty fun and it is great for adult collectors like myself, as you could use it for display, backstage segments, what have you. Um, I don't know, I think it's a great piece, it's nice even for non-WWE collectors to have a car at 6 inch scale, as you really don't see them that often, if you do they're not the cheapest. So this is a great price point and it is destructible which is pretty cool. So we'll take a look at the uh, Braun figure first. The basics, okay. This is the silliest part to me is that just the logo on his shirt as he normally wears like a full uh, sleeveless shirt with a logo on it. So I don't know, it's kind of silly but it's the same head scan. Got the basic articulation where it's only in the elbows. You can see the detail in his tattoo here. They didn't include any of his other tattoo work. Unfortunately, he does have the detail in his ponytail, which is good, and um, just the detail in his pants and whatnot. He does not have any ankle joints, so if you don't have any of the new basics, you can't pose them at the ankles, which is uh, annoying, as sometimes it's hard to make them stand. With his feet kind of turned in like this, he stands okay, um, but I'm a big fan of Strowman, obviously not as interested in him lately just because his character is so faced. It's not the monster that I'd love him to be, but I still like him and I was excited that at least this came with someone I really like, um, so I will add him to my Brawn collection. Now moving on to the car, which is really why everybody's buying it, is it's a really unique item. You can see the WWE logo on the front here. You could smash the hood in so if you slam a guy on it, you could uh, cave it in and then you could just pop it right back by pushing it back like that. It has the WWE logo on it and you can actually remove the pieces as well. Just be uh, a little patient removing it as you can see. I just don't want you to end up snapping. See how it's being a little bit challenging. So just be careful if you have kids that are playing with it that they don't end up snapping it off completely because there's like little hinges here as you can see. So it's pretty cool detail and whatnot in it. And you can see the detail like the engine, all the parts underneath the hood. I'm not a car guy, so I don't know all the technical terms of course, but it's pretty straightforward. And when you want it back, I think you just do that. Not sure, I think the bumper might come off. 
Yeah, the bumper does come off too. Forgot about that. So let's see how that comes off. There you go. It just pops off like that. So here's the bumper off as well. You can see it just pops right back into the holes here. So the good thing is that it's pretty relatively easy to put back together. Just be patient with some of it. As you can see it doesn't always click back together on the first try. The windshield is cracked, it splits and pops off which is cool so you can smash someone through a windshield if you wanted to. It's more like attitude era type hardcore matches that you'd really use this for. The doors do open as you can see which is pretty nice. Then it is to scale so Braun, of course, is a really tall guy to show you it with, but Elite's fit in there too. So here's a road dog. You can see it's to scale with him, which is nice. I'll show you them in it at the end. Um, but the doors do come off. You can see they just pull right off. I'm going to put it back. easier with two hands than one. There you go. And it just pops right back in. And the seats do come out as well. They just pop right out. You can see the spot for it there. It's even a stick inside. The, the uh, steering wheel comes out. It has the WWE logo in the middle there. You can see that the camera will pick it up. So this one's a little bit harder to put in, I think. This one might be a little more challenging for kids, but just so they put it in the right way. But as you can see, it went right back in like that. And the trunk opens. It says you could store accessories back here too. I love that the license plate is these hands. That's pretty funny. Um, but yeah, it just pops right off. And just snap it in the back like this. And there you go. And uh, I think... If I'm not mistaken, that is everything with the car. The wheels don't come off, which is interesting. I kind of hope they did, as you could really, like, flatten the car, so to speak. But, I don't know. So I'll show you what the figures look like inside. I put Baron in the passenger seat. Put his hand down there. And I'll just put Road Dog, who volunteered to drive. Braun Strowman around apparently, so. Oh, let's see if you get his feet. There you go. See, so you just gotta be patient. You just slide their feet in there or whatever. And uh, yeah, they both fit in there. It rolls really easily. So it's a great piece. I've always wanted a car, like I said. Um, I really wish they made this an ambulance, to be honest, versus a sports car as we are well overdue for ambulance match playset, but I know Bill at Mattel was saying that it's probably not a possibility, at least anytime soon, but who knows, maybe one day, if this does well, maybe they'll do an ambulance too, but it's really cool. But anyway, you can get it at Target currently, be sure to uh, check yours, I know it's just starting to show up finally after the first of the year, and it's a pretty cool and unique item, and uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode of Wrestling Figure Wednesday. And be sure to like it on Facebook to suggest future reviews you'd like to see me do. Thanks! Like this video? Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And check out my latest videos. For all your wrestling figure needs, check out ringsidecollectibles.com.